Well, as the deadline approaches, all sides in the talks are warning that it's crucial to overcome remaining differences and reach some sort of agreement. Now, Jessica Stone reports. The optimism for an historic nuclear deal with Iran may just last until the clock strikes midnight on April 1st. I think that we can find solutions that are good for all, that can guarantee that uh, Iran has no uh, nuclear weapons, cannot develop nuclear weapons, but still can develop a civil nuclear program. So I think this is the time when perseverance and firm faith are called for. We can't let it fall apart at the final stage. But the Iranians are already trying to manage expectations. We are still not in the position to be able to say we are close to resolving the remaining issues, but we are hopeful and will continue the efforts. Russia's foreign minister has now left the talks and the world powers at the negotiating table are already laying the groundwork to blame Iran if they leave empty-handed. So far, there's no extension of the talks being offered. It's time for the Iranians to uh, send a clear signal to the international community, community about whether or not they are willing to make the serious commitments required uh, and basically live up to their rhetoric that they're not trying to acquire a nuclear weapon. So if they can make those commitments, they should be able to do that by the end of March. Meanwhile, the U.S. is ready to implement even tougher sanctions if there's no deal. Congress is prepared to vote soon, as the U.S. Senate leader told the Israeli Prime Minister on Sunday. If there's no deal, then uh, the view of this group uh, similar to your own, is that ratcheting up sanctions might be the best uh, direction to take in the wake of a deal that does not come together. But other world powers are unlikely to agree to further sanctions, with many seeing these punitive measures as a means to get Iran to the negotiating table, not as an end in themselves. As for Iran, remember that if no deal is reached, the interim agreement that Iran is currently operating under falls apart. It can then go back to enriching uranium at previous levels. Jessica Stone, CCTV, Washington.